Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is possibly the cheapest Wi-Fi adapter you will ever lay your eyes on. And as you can see on eBay, it is $1.99. And I actually bought this about a year ago and never really tried it. I was just curious to see how bad a $1.97 um, Wi-Fi adapter was. And as you can see, 32,000 of these have actually been sold. Um, and I have one right here. So it advertises itself as Wi-Fi certified. Wow, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Linux, Raspberry Pi, Windows 10. I'm on Windows 11, I'm sure it'll be fine. So essentially what I'm gonna show you is the baseline of what speed I get um, through my network. Yeah, so here's the base. I have um, gigabit ethernet up in my room here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the top port of my computer. There we go, and as you can see, this thing has a very good shot because the Wi-Fi router that I'm using right now is right here. So, um, and as you can see, my computer's right here. So this thing has basically the best chance to perform well. And just to make sure I can actually go ahead and unplug my ethernet. All right, so I am now disconnected from my um, internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network. All right, I am now on my network. Although um, one thing to note, it only supports 2G, which is uh, expected. Before I do a speed test, I wanna do a little test here. So we're gonna load up YouTube on a private window in Firefox here. Okay, okay. We're loading it up here. Um, we're on the website, as you can see, so it, it at least did something, right? I guess I'm gonna search up this new YouTube channel I created that I'm gonna be posting this video on. Um, and, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's trying. That's, uh, oh. Oh. I mean, it looks connected. Let's try again here. Okay, I guess that's not working. Let's try out Best Buy. I don't know why I'm going to Best Buy, but whatever. We're having trouble finding the site. I, I don't believe that. Uh, how about a uh, how about good old Pebble host here? Oh, it really did just disconnect. Cool, let me reconnect, I guess. Okay, it reconnected the Wi-Fi. Let's try reloading this. Okay, a website actually loaded. How about Best Buy? Oh, Best Buy loaded as well. Uh, how about YouTube? Um, we'll just search hello. Doesn't matter. Oh. Um, cool, cool. It loads an ad. I don't know why it shows hello, the music video. I mean, it's just what popped up. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted or whatever. Okay, so it's loading a video. Um, I, that's, that's cool, I guess. Videos are loading. Um, let's do a speed test here. Let's see how fast this thing really is. 22 megabits per second down. And about 20 megabits per second up. I mean, for $2, well, for like less than $2, I mean, I guess you can't really go wrong with this. It, it is, it's doing something, you know? At least it, at least it is. It's, it's kind of semi-working. I mean, 20 megabits per second, that's, what you're gonna get, I guess. You can watch YouTube. I don't really know what this thing is. Oh. And we're down again, aren't we? Yeah, it disconnected itself. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Ow! Wow, that is hot. That's like actually really hot. That's probably not that good. Yeah, that's like, that's like, that's like almost like. That's like almost enough to burn me. Wow. Um, moral of the story is, I guess, don't buy a Wi-Fi adapter for a dollar and um, 97 cents or whatever it was. And I'm just gonna plug my ethernet back in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's the moral of the story. Don't, don't buy. Why is there cereal right there? Don't mind that. But yeah, uh, moral of the story is don't buy a uh, less than two dollar Wi-Fi adapter, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's all I gotta say. Um, everyone, uh, have a good one.